I'd also like to talk to you on behalf of all the pregnant women, not people, as you call them. You quote it, to quote you on August 11th, 2021, CDC encourages all pregnant people, it's women, by the way, who are thinking about becoming pregnant and those breastfeeding to get vaccinated to protect themselves from COVID-19. This has also been ignored. The amount of miscarriages and still births that increased drastically due to your advice to get vaccinated. Pregnant women again, not people. Yeah, so we're gonna brush right past the ridiculous obsession she has with carrying out on a people versus women. I will remind her, women notably are also people. <laughs> she seems to have a problem with that idea. But anyway, um, this is what ignorant people who have no interest in education, don't want other people to be educated, will do with the product of people with education. She has a chart and it shows an increase in stillbirths and miscarriages and she uses it like an idiot. She holds it up and says, look at this increase in, st in stillbirths, stillbirths and miscarriages due to your advice to get the vaccine. That's not what that chart shows. That's not what that chart shows at all. All it shows is that there was an increase in miscarriages and stillbirths. And as many of you have probably already guessed, you know what does increase those things? The pandemic that was ravaging our country. Um, if you get COVID and you're put on an, in the ICU, if you're put on a ventilator, you might well die. It's a massive strain on the body. Those sorts of things, not good for developing pregnancies. So here's, by the way, here's a little tip too, Marjorie Green. If you believe that it's not just a coincidence time-wise, that it is actually causal, did you know that there's actually a way that you could figure that out? It's called the scientific method. And what you would do is you would look into all of those stillbirths and miscarriages, and you would find out what percentage of them were vaccinated, what percentage weren't. You could run an actual study to find out if your point has any validity, but you would have to do some science to get there. So I have a feeling you're probably not interested enough to actually do that. For now though, she is willing to tell, the, the point of this, the, the takeaway from this is, do not get vaccinated, allow yourself to still be exposed to COVID, supposedly to protect developing pregnancies. When we know you are putting yourself and your developing pregnancy at more risk. She doesn't either understand that or care about that. She is willing to risk those despite being pro-life to prove an anti-vax point. What do you think? That's always the, you have to get, you have to get to the end point somehow, and it doesn't have to make much sense to get there. You know, if Marjorie Taylor Greene is concerned with higher rates of uh, miscarriages and maybe even uh, a death as people are pregnant, I, I'm I haven't looked in depth into this. Maybe she's talked about the disproportionate rate of Black women in the country that uh, experience more miscarriages, that experience more death, childbirth, nope. death. I think there was a, a, a track athlete just last week, if not this week, that passed away from complications of her pregnancy. And there are actual studies that connect and figure out why that is. Because there's this thing called investigation, study, and science when people actually want to get to the root cause of a problem. Now, what they've discovered is that many times it's healthcare factors, doctors, access to certain things, and the way that they're treated. Because again, in society, we like to treat certain folks worse than others. It's that whole woke thing that they're fighting against. So whenever people want to try and even the playing field on this, people like Marjorie Taylor Greene are against it. Why is that when it comes to certain groups? If you're concerned about disproportionate birth rates and people dying, why don't you go into these types of things as well? Because yeah. the end game for her is this thing about COVID. Again, that I think many folks have gotten to a point where they're either they've either done it or they haven't. This is pretty much an old argument at this point. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.